Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by Dustless Blasting. Now the word muscle and muscle cars means something. There's a reason for that. It means power. There's a lot of upgrades that go along with the engine. But on the flip side of the coin, the brakes have to do the stopping. And a lot of times they're neglected. Well, we have a solution for that. Greg from GPS Automotive. Greg, you have a solution for muscle car brakes. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, John, GPS Automotive has solutions for a lot of popular muscle cars. What we brought with us today is a complete disc brake conversion kit for a 1967 Mustang. It completes the word here. Let's start over with the rotors and talk about some of these components. Well, we brought two rotors. We brought the standard rotor that comes in the kit, and then we also brought the same rotor in our cross-drilled, slotted, and zinc-coated finish. Now you also have the lines. I mean, I see the braided lines here versus the rubber lines. Yes, depending on which level of the kit you choose, you may get the standard DOT-approved rubber hoses, or you may get our DOT approved braided stainless steel hoses. That's perfect. So a little pressure, you're not going to expand, you're going to get great pedal feel with that. Correct. Caliper assembly, loaded, man, looks complete to me. Tell me a little bit about it. That's just how it comes out of the box. So the pads are already in it. On the other side of the caliper, once we install it, you'll see that it comes with the anti-rattle hardware included as well as the copper washers. Now, a lot of the older cars have organic pads. What are you guys using? We use a high quality semi-metallic brake pad. Uh, way better for uh, more aggressive stopping and avoiding brake fade during your stop. Bracketry, man, I can't just swap that thing over. I'm going to have to have some kind of bracketry and hardware to get it to work. That's correct. This kit will bolt directly to your factory five lug Mustang spindle. Just remove your factory drum, uh, shoes, and backing plates. That bracket you see there will bolt directly to the spindle. Now, I also see the hardware. I'm going to get all the bearings, anything I need to put this in. It is a complete package, including the actual cotter key itself. Yes, sir. We try to give you everything that we can. So it comes with seals, bearings, a new spindle nut, washer for the outer bearing, and the cotter key as well. And we're going to convert it over. I need a booster and a master cylinder. Yes, sir. There's different options depending on your transmission in your car. So this one is for a manual transmission setup comes complete with the uh, pre-bent brake lines to help you reuse your factory distribution block. That's incredible. You start talking about these lines here, take it from somebody that has a hard time flaring lines. That's difficult. I mean, it's all going to be right there for you. I mean, that's perfect. And the booster, it's a dual diaphragm, nice and small, freeing up a lot of engine compartment. I mean, this is awesome. Let's head over to our demo. I mean, I also see the pedal. The pedal comes complete as well. Pedal comes complete. Uh, there's different pedal for manual transmission or automatic transmission and the pedal is made locally in the United States. We can go ahead and assemble this with no problem. Absolutely. And the cool part about this, if you look right on the back here, this is actually the plate that's bolted to the spindle, and this is the Ford spindle, correct? That's correct. So as that's bolted to it, and then you also give us the splash shield as well. Also correct. Going to stop any debris or anything going into the brake system, real nice. And so Splash we... shield zinc coated as well, so that's not going to rust on you either. Oh, nice, real nice. All right, well, let's go ahead and take it. If you want to take, I'll take the rotor assembly over here. We'll go ahead and we'll flip that over. And then we'll take the outside bearing. Okay, you got the nut there? Yep, there's a nut. Cotter key comes with the kit. I mean, that's, that's phenomenal. I put that on. What's next? Uh, next, we'll slide the caliper on. So you just grab the caliper. You'll see that it has the anti-rattle hardware on it. it. Sure does. Slide it right over the rotor, and then you install the bolts from the back side. So Greg, that's about it. I mean, it's complete. Just follow instructions, you're good to go. You got your retrofit kit. Yes, sir. You sure do. Well, folks, you've seen a great show today. If you have any products that you want to get on Motorhead Garage, cool like this or the ones you've seen, just email Jeff at masterstv.com. We'll see you next week for more Motorhead Garage.